It is good to see everybody tonight. The recording started. I just want to go ahead and get cranking up here for everybody that's on and for everybody that's checking in and for all of those who will be coming on board as we go through the night and watch our recorded trainings. My name is Kerry Miller, and it's an absolute pleasure to welcome you here each and every Wednesday night. Uh, we've been having we've been having Wednesday night trainings for almost three and a half years now, and uh, only stopped for uh, sickness, which I, which I think has only been twice, and uh, holidays, of course. And, uh, but it's good to see everybody. Good to have everybody here, and uh, good to see everybody on board. Let's go ahead and take care of some housekeeping real quick. If you'd like to be notified via email for our training, uh, go to instantappwizard.com forward slash training. You can get on the list. I send that out about 6 o'clock uh, Central Time on Wednesday nights. And the link changes every week because of the system we're using. But I send out an email and you can get right into training uh, if you want to get on our email list. Uh, also, if you would like a text reminder, uh, go to uh, text on your phone, to, uh, text IAW training to 27126, just as a reminder, that training is going on. Uh, this training platform does not have, uh, Ferris, I see you made, made it in, welcome my friend. This training platform does not have the mobile application yet, uh, GetResponse is working on it, but I tell you, uh, since they've got their act together over at GetResponse, and many of you know how many times we had trouble with GoToWebinar, uh, this is our go-to platform. So I really like it. It works out great, and uh, really, 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 really enjoy it. If you have not joined our YouTube channel, join our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash instant app wizard. And like us on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash instant app wizard. And if you're not a part of our group, uh, it's a great place to be. A lot of good conversation happens in that group. Uh, I'm in there sometimes, uh, but most of the members uh, share different things, share different ideas. A lot of the a lot of the things that we've added to our platform has come from the group. Got a lot of great ideas. Go to the group and. Uh, be a part of that. My mouse is stuck underneath my microphone. Tonight we're going to be talking about the coupon app model blueprint. We've got two weeks left. We're going to finish up tonight. Next week I'm going to take just about 20 minutes to go through uh, Twitter advertising. You can advertise on Twitter just like you can on Facebook. Uh, pretty much the same type of platform. Uh, I will tell you, I've never advertised on Twitter. Uh, getting ready to. Uh, that's just going to be another revenue stream that I'm going to add to my toolbox. Twitter just turned 10 years old. Uh, you know, Twitter is, they're, they're trying to follow Facebook's model, and a lot of Twitter users are getting upset. So they're going through some changes right now. Uh, but Twitter is going to be around for a long time. And Twitter is tied into our platform. And I've used Twitter more in the last six months than I've ever used Twitter. Uh, you know, for me, it was usually about news feeds and things like that where I could get uh, information from uh, all the news medias keeping up with what's going on in the world. But uh, I have a lot of friends on Twitter now. I follow them. I get a lot of great marketing information, a lot of great marketing tools. So Twitter has become one of my, uh, just as important to me as Facebook. And in our marketing platform, uh, you can use Twitter, and you should be using Twitter, and that's another form of dissemination of information for your clients. And it doesn't matter, and we're going to talk about this just a little bit based on a post that was in the group just a few minutes ago. It doesn't matter what you sell your clients, whether you're selling a mobile business card, a real estate app, an auto app, uh, a coupon app, uh, a full-blown business app, no matter what you're selling them, <clears throat> the marketing platform should be the center of your universe. And, uh, but the next, the next training we're going to start in three weeks <coughs> will be the real estate app. So get ready for that. And uh, 
Can somebody just type in the uh, chat box? I want to make sure that I, I can see y'all texting. Somebody just type in the chat box. For some reason, I'm not seeing any texting, and I'm not sure why. Okay, there's Kenny Dutton, so I know it's working now. All right, all right, just popped up, just popped up. Okay, awesome, 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 awesome. Very good, very good. I turned off the wrong thing, but it, it's working now. So let's keep on rolling. What does it take to launch your coupon app business? Many of you know I'm pretty straightforward. I, I usually don't. I usually don't beat around the. The reason I hand it to you straight is because I want you to be successful. So tonight we're going to have some straight talk. We're just going to. We've got a lot of people that have become very successful already in this coupon business. Okay, we've got some people that have gone outside the box. Uh, different ways from where I market that are working and, and I'm working on uh, putting some stuff together that they're using to teach some different marketing techniques. As all of you know, I'm a show and tell kind of guy. It's built my business uh, to a very, very, very successful business, uh, building over 1,000 apps over the last two and a half years. Uh, so, you know, I'm one of those kind of people that I stick with what works, but that doesn't mean that other things aren't working. I'm getting ready to start using a lot more local Facebook marketing, uh, not just for coupon apps, but for mobile coupons, for realtor apps, for auto apps, uh, for different things. And I'm going to be teaching that over the next, uh, the, the rest of this year. So we are in a day of uh, uh, an age of technology, okay? And with technology comes changes. And uh, I've been watching what's crit, what Christy Brown's been doing, and and uh, I've got that blueprint model that she's using uh, that many of you bought, and that's working. So what does it take to launch the coupon app business? Uh, very simply, first and foremost, you have to want to build the business. <clears throat> if, 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 if all of you knew how many phone calls I took every single week, and, and, and the first question out of my mouth is, how many sales have you made? Well, we're going to get started on it next week. We're going to get started on it next week. We're going to get started on it next week. And then three weeks from now, they call me again. And we're, we're going to get started on this, man. We're pumped. We're ready to go. This is what we want to do. And, and it never happens. You know why? Because they don't have what I call want to. Want to means that you want to get off your butt and you go out and make it happen. I don't care what it is you do. If you don't do it, it's not going to happen. You know, it's not going to happen. Hey, Roger, how you doing, buddy? If you don't get off your butt and go out and make sales like Roger does every day, Roger and I was talking just a, a couple of days ago, and many of you have heard his, his testimonies on, on the calls and so forth. There's one thing I know Roger does. Roger goes out every single day and sells apps, period. His base is the mobile business card. That's what he sells. That's what he does. That's what he does successfully. But I can promise you, and he'll tell you the same thing, if you don't want to do it, you're not going to sell any. If you don't ask for the referrals, you're not going to sell any. The coupon app is no different. And many of you have, have really, some of you have gotten confused about the coupon app, what the coupon app is, what, what it does, and how it works. And we're going to talk about that in just a moment. I have a saying, and I use it a lot. And I usually use it after someone, someone, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like pushing a wet noodle. Absolutely, Will. I, and I say, someone has just called me and they're threatening to be successful. And what, what I'm saying with that is, is you know what? Talk is cheap. Show me the money. As, 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 as they said in, a, I can't remember the movie, you know, show me the money. The sports movie with Tom Cruise. Show me the money, you know, and, and so people threaten to be successful. They sit behind their computers. They stay on Facebook. They stay in social media uh, wanting to do it, 
They, they think they're going to do it. They think they're going to put together their coupon program. And it's all, they're always waiting. Yeah, Jerry Maguire. Thanks, Kitty. Jerry Maguire. They're always waiting for tomorrow. And guess what happens? Tomorrow never comes. So if you want to threaten to be successful, quit threatening and just do it. You're either going to do it or you're not. I mean, there's, there's only two types of people in this world. Those that make it happen and those that watch it happen. You will either make it happen or you won't. The coupon app program is very, very simple. Unfortunately, some people have really overcomplicated it. They're really overcomplicated it. And we've got those that didn't overcomplicate it that, what's my famous word? How do I do things? I'll ask this again. What, what, is, my, what is my favorite four-letter word? Kiss. <laughs> Keep it simple, silly. You know, kiss. Keep it simple. And, and everybody's typing that, so you know what I was going to say. I keep it simple for a simple reason, because if you overcomplicate it, you convolute what's going on, you confuse your customers, and you don't make any sales. What does the coupon program consist of? And I think what has happened is, is a lot of people have kind of said, well, yes, yeah, that's right, baby, show and tell. I'm going to use that here in a minute, Roger. That's what Roger does, shows and tells. What does the coupon program consist of? The coupon directory. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> coupon directory. <clears throat> Excuse me. Who owns the coupon directory? You do. You own the coupon directory. It's your responsibility to market the directory, build the directory, put your clients in the directory, and disseminate that directory. You own the coupon directory. Okay. Second, you have the coupon app. What does the coupon app consist of? The only thing a coupon app is, and I'm going to show you this in just a moment, the only thing a coupon app is, is what? A mobile business card with a coupon at it. That's the only button that's changed. The only button that's changed is the coupon, okay? And as I was talking to uh, uh, Chris McGee a while ago, adding the join our list button or whatever you want to call it on the coupon app. You see, every app is the same. Every single app is the same. What I did was is because as I've gone out and sold and as I've gone out and built my business over the last three and a half years, I realized that people did not understand the word mobile app. So I started changing things up. And I started building business models and I started looking at different ways to share my programs, to share my business with others. The first one was called what? The mobile business card. Now real quick in the group it took on DBC, digital business card. Okay? So you'll hear me interchange it all the time, the mobile business card or the digital business card. You'll see people type in the group all the time, DBC. Hey, Kerry, could you tell me about the DBC? Okay. I created that uh, about two and a half years ago. Okay. Two and a half years ago, watching a show called Shark Tank. A guy had created a, a mobile business card. It sucked. I went in the back room and in about five minutes created one with Instant App Wizard. And guess what hit me? Everybody knows what a mobile business card is. I mean, a, a business card. Everybody knew that term. So I started selling business cards that were mobile. And, and it skyrocketed my business. It changed my business forever. The coupon app, does everybody that you talk to in business understand what a coupon is? Does everybody here think for a second that any business owner doesn't understand coupon marketing? Everybody understands coupon marketing. They do. They already are already doing it. They already have a budget for it. They are already making it happen. So when you walk into them and you simply say, hey, Jacques, 
do you currently market with coupons? And or go around and pick up these free newspapers, okay, in your area that are at every single gas station in the little boxes out front. Go pick those up and circle every coupon within a 20 mile radius of where you live and you can go out and sell every one of those people. Why? Because you already know when you walk in the door that they're doing what? That's right. They are marketing with coupons. Now, their market depends on if someone walks in and picks that book up off the shelf. And they do do that. I used to have a business center to that, that I used those boxes in front of stores, and we gave away thousands and thousands and thousands of magazines. Matter of fact, our, our, our giveaway uh, when I left the business was about 70,000 magazines a month, okay? And we sold advertising in those magazines. So I know that the dissemination of those papers go rapidly because everybody grabs those. Why do they grab them? Because they're usually at the restaurants. They grab them and they sit down and while they're eating lunch at, at, and, and waiting to go back to work, they're flipping through them. And what do they do when they walk out? They either throw them in their front seat or they throw them in the trash. But they are having eyeballs on them. So that is a ready-made market for you to go after. They already have what? Coupons. Now, when you walk into that business and you simply ask them, hey, I saw your coupon in the, uh, in the Daily Flyer, you know, or, or whatever some of those papers are called. They're called something different all over. But I saw your ad in there. Have you started any mobile coupons? Do you have a mobile coupon marketing program? Well, no, I don't. I'm not even sure what that is. Well, let me show you real quick. And, and I was talking to uh, uh, Jason a while ago in the group about tracking, okay, about tracking coupons. And most people... And I'll just throw this out there. And I'm going to use I'm going to use first cafeteria as an example. When you walk through the first cafeteria line, and the person in front of you gives them a gives them a coupon, and you don't have one, do you know that what the first thing first cafeteria does for the next person in line? Has anybody has anybody ever been to a first cafeteria and used one of their coupons? The person in front of, front of the line gives them a coupon. The next person doesn't have a coupon. You know what the lady behind the counter will do? She'll give you that coupon so that you can use that coupon to get your, you know, 10% off your meal or not. Does, it, does everybody understand what coupons are used for? Is everybody aware what, what coupons are truly used for? Can anybody, can anybody kind of interject there what they think that coupons are used for? Increase foot traffic, period. Bring in more business, period. If, a, if your clients do not understand that, I don't care if you sell them a golden bridge that will allow the traffic to flow into their front door nonstop, they will never, ever get it. You know, I, I, I had people tell me, well, I, I want to be able to, to them to turn, come in and walk in with that coupon, and I don't want them to be able to use it anymore. Really? Are you that stupid? I mean, are, are you so blind to the fact of what that coupon just did for your business that, that you can't see the forest for the trees? Now, coupons are dated. Why are coupons dated? Coupons are dated because you're going to start another coupon program. Yeah, coupons should never lose money. If coupons are losing money, then, then they're giving away the farm to, to get with. You're absolutely right. Coupons should never, ever lose money. I, I went to lunch today. Yeah, dates create scarcity. Absolutely. I went to lunch today. I used a coupon. What was, hey, Will Sims, what was today's, today's coupon for a Sonic Drive-In, buddy? And I will be going there as soon as, uh, as, soon as training's over. Sonic Hot Dog Day, Dollar Dog Day. I love the 89 Cent Cheeseburger Day. 
every Wednesday. You cannot get in this. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. You cannot get in our Sonic up here on Wednesdays because of these coupons. You can't. I mean, you literally wait in line for 45 minutes to get a 89 cent cheeseburger or a dollar hot dog. So coupon marketing works. Some people will get it, some won't. I've got an old saying, some will, some won't, so what next? Move on. The next part of the uh, coupon marketing program is text message marketing. We now have the short code. And from all the feedback that I've been getting, everybody loves it. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're running a coupon program, or if you think you're running a coupon program, you're not running a proper coupon program if you're not using the marketing platform and text message marketing, period. You're doing your customer a disservice if you're not doing that, period. If, if you do not show them how to use text message marketing, why do I know that? Will Sims, what happens every single Wednesday, buddy? What comes across your phone? Same thing that comes across by, you know? Sonic. And what does Carrie do on Wednesdays? Carrie goes to Sonic every single Wednesday. And every now and then they send out a special on milkshakes. And I go get me a milkshake. That's when I go to Sonic. I go into Sonic for a dollar hot dog, and I can promise you before I leave there tonight, I'll spend seven bucks. My tab's usually between seven and eight bucks. Going in for a one dollar hot dog. So Coupon marketing works. Email marketing, even though they're not getting that immediately, okay, even though they're not getting that text, they're, they're not getting that email immediately, but I can tell you this, email marketing is back on the rise. Can anybody tell me why email marketing is back on the rise? Same reason text marketing is blowing up the systems. Access. People have access to their emails. And because they have access to their email 24-7, just like they do their phone and their text message marketing, more people are reading their emails. So email marketing is back on the rise again. Now, it will never reach text marketing because everybody has that little ding-dong go off on their phone when they receive a text, okay? And immediately you pick it up because you want to see what it is. But they do check their emails now. And they usually check them within, within that 90 minutes to an hour, uh, you know, that, that, that the stats been. That's really becoming very true. Now, when my email comes across, it says it gives a little ding just like my text does. And I can see the notification across the screen. Facebook marketing. We spent three weeks on Facebook marketing. If you do not set up your customers with Facebook marketing, you're doing them a disservice. You can set up automated messages in the back of the marketing platform, and you never have to touch it again. And you can post. Post, 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 post. You can go into Facebook and set up auto post for, for a month if you want to. Yeah. Will says when he's at home, he checks his email alerts on his phone even while he's working on the computer. It's a natural instinct we pick up our phone. And Twitter marketing. Yeah. Most of you probably don't have a Twitter account. I've had a Twitter account for a long time and I've started using it a lot more frequently, especially because Instagram and Facebook and everything else ties into it now, okay? My KO says he's got five. You know, Twitter is a true form of marketing that people are starting to understand. With Facebook and Twitter, when you set up their accounts and you charge them $99 to $199 and then you're charging them their monthly marketing fees and all that, you need to make sure that you're charging them for some window claims. Go to Vistaprint and get a, twi a Twitter window clean and a Facebook window clean so that people know when they walk in that door that they're on Facebook and Twitter. Will Sims, how important is it to, to post twice a day on, on Facebook non-business information? It's very important because people start looking for things like that. People start looking for, I, I go to Will's, I can't wait for Will to post every day to see what's happening in New Mexico, and I haven't been to New Mexico in years. But it's very, very interesting. I love it. And I can tell you, 
there's people that are going to his uh, page every day to see the stuff that he's posting. And it starts driving up your interaction. And when he posts those coupons on there, people start interacting with that. They start interacting with that. So you've got to have the full complement, okay? You start off with your coupon directory, and you need to have texting on your coupon directory now, okay? Then you have your coupon app. That's the app that you're, you're selling your clients. Do you not think that if you walked in with a coupon directory that had 500 people that you can go ahead and start marketing to, that that client would not be excited that you've already got a ready-built base that you can start sending his coupons out tomorrow? That's very exciting to him because he can reach on someone's phone immediately 500 people and that will see his coupon. Then what starts happening? Then is what starts happening. He starts building his list. And as he builds his list and he goes from 1,000 to, to 2,500, what starts happening for you? You, you? you start creating more recurring income. Let's take a look at the coupon directory. What does everybody see on this coupon directory right here? Let me move this. And let me go here. Let me go here, let me go here, and let me go here. What does everybody see right here? A call us button. What's the first button on a mobile business card? The call us button. Then what's next? Email us. What's the second button on a mobile business card? Email us. What's the third button on a mobile business card? Facebook share. Down here we have our home button. Down here we have a coupon button, which does what? Up here we have a coupon button, which does what? It opens our slide menu. Right here. It opens the slide menu. Okay, and they're able to click on whatever it is. If they click on restaurants, it opens up your directory of restaurant app. All this is is a mobile business card with a slide menu and your join our list button. That's all it is. This is join our list. I just renamed it. Okay. So the only two things I added to this is a slide menu and attach the directory to this, okay, which you can see right here, excuse me, and a form right here that says for more info. That, what, what's that more info button for? Does anybody know what the more info button is for? Yeah, for people that want for people that want more information so they can figure out how to get uh, your, how to figure out how to advertise and, and get them a coupon app. Does everybody understand the coupon directory? This is a tab bar right here. I ordered me a pen today because I can't write with my mouse. Okay, this is a tab bar right here. This is a button bar. This is attached to the slide menu. Okay. This button down here where it says coupons, that's attached to the slide menu. More info is no more than a form. Of course, y'all know what the home button is. Uh, I can, but I'm, I'm not on my computer right now. I mean, I will when I get over to my uh, uh the top image, this is right here. That's that's placed in your header. That's your header image, your logo. No, do not place it in home. If you place it in home, it's not going to uh, it's not going to fit correctly. This is placed under header. 
under the image. And mine are normally 500 by anywhere from 275 to 300. Every now and then I'll make them bigger. For this, for this example, this one is 250. I mean, I'm sorry, 500 by 300. This logo is. Okay. Any questions? Any questions on this right here? At all? This is the directory. Whose who's, who's app is the directory belong to? It's yours. That's correct. It's yours. It's yours. You're going to build the list. You should have this everywhere. You sh there's no reason for you to not walk into a customer without a list. No reason. It may not be on their coupon app, but you have a readership, okay? People have subscribed to your platform to receive information. So when you walk in, immediately, hey, Tom, how would you like me to get your coupon in front of a 1,000 people every single week that have asked for How do you get subscriptions before any coupons? Watch last week's training. You ask. Go to Walmart. Everybody's walking around Walmart and say, hey, we're launching a new coupon directory in, uh, in Commerce, Texas. Would you like to sign up? We're going to start launching out our coupons next week. Bam. And if you're fortunate enough to go out like Will Sims did and start selling the coupon apps immediately, then you've got a couple of coupons in there already. Let me ask you a question. When you bought your magazine, did they send you your magazine first or did they take your money first? How did they sign up? On your text list. Click in for new coupons. They sign up right on your app. They go into your marketing platform. You can do one of two things. You can hand them your phone and get them to type their number in, or they'll give you your phone number and you type it in for them. Their phone's going to ding. It's going to say, do you want to opt into the coupon app? They're going to say yes, and guess what's going to happen? You're going to market to them from now on until they remove themselves. How many of you go shopping and they ask for your phone number? How many of you have been shopping lately and they ask for your phone number at the point of sale system? Yeah, Will Sims, you're going to tell them to say yes. Everybody is saying they have. And then they say, we're, and you say, well, what do you want my phone number for? They go, we're going to start sending you specials. And you say, great. And they type it into their POS system. And next thing you know, you're getting text messages from them called text message marketing. You have the same capabilities to give that to your client that Kohl's, Sears, JCPenney's, uh, Belks, Marshalls, all those stores do. They have the same capability. And when you're selling this, you need to make them feel like a Fortune 500 company. You need to make them feel like a Fortune 500 company. Woodrow and I was talking yesterday, and, and, and he said he, he heard this on a webinar. And, and I, 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 I built a graphic, and I forgot to upload it. <clears throat> I, I got so excited about training. I forgot to upload it. How many of you know what Popeye is? Popeye the Sailor Man? I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Everybody, how many of you remember Wimpy? How many of you remember Wimpy and everything he saw turned into a what? Every time Wimpy saw something, what did he see? That's right. He saw a hamburger. Every time he saw something, it was a hamburger. When you walk into your client's business, you know what they need to see? 
What's the one thing they should see when you walk into their business? Money. They should see money. They should see little, little golden dollar signs floating around your head when you walk in the door. They should see you as the money man. They should see you as the person who is changing their lives forever, bringing income in that door. Does anybody know what coupons do? Coupons bring you money. People come in to give you money. I'm going to go buy a $1 hot dog and leave Sonic anywhere between $7 and $8 in about 30 minutes off of a one dollar coupon do you not think they're not going to make money off of me absolutely they are does everybody understand what the coupon directory is any question is all say that again when i walk in the door they should see dollar signs above my head because i am bringing them but loads of money. That's right. I am the buddy band. That's right. You're right, Scott. Wimpy saw hamburgers. They should see money when you walk in that door. You are their marketing guru. You're the person that is there to make their business grow. You are there to give them everything they need to bring people in those doors and coupons create truckloads of money truckloads of money thank you roger 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 uh, roger says this is a great coupon program the coupon app now this is very simple and i think this is where people get confused now somebody was asking a while ago if i put this in the home page for the this is where this coupon was created i put this on the home page Okay, under images. And you can watch the videos and see how that's done. What's the first button on a mobile business card? The call us button. What's the second button on a mobile business card? The email us button. What's the third button on a mobile business card? The Facebook share button. What's the third? Uh, what's the third, fourth button on a mobile business card? This button up across the top says click here and get our mobile coupons on your phone. Now, this is a button bar. Remember a while ago I said that was a tab bar? Sorry, I ordered a pen. So when I get that, y'all are going to say, gosh, man, this guy can write good. This is a button bar right here, okay? This white bar is a tab bar, okay? This Click here to get our coupons is your join our list button. This is for join our list. Then you got your share web app or this says share coupon. Your address, okay? And this is their coupon. Right here. They click on this button and it opens their rub off coupon. Very, very, very Simple. Very, very simple. This is their coupon. I don't want them going back to the directory from this app. This is your customer's coupon. I don't want them going back to, to, to the directory from this app. Why do you want that, that not to happen? 
because I don't want to go in there and show them that button and then they open that up and Jim's pizzas, John's pizzas, and Scott's pizzas all right there together. And you know what he's going to say? Hey, I, I don't want to be in your directory. And that directory is the key to driving these coupon apps to the public so that they will sign up specifically for their apps. The directory is a tool to build your coupon business. Does that make sense? Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah, from a user point, they can tab back. If they want to go back, and trust me, people are very, very phone savvy. Very phone savvy. You know who are the least phone savvy people I've ever met? Mobile marketing consultants. <laughs> Believe it or not. Does everybody understand a coupon? This is a button bar. This goes to the join our list. The call us, email us, Facebook share, the homepage button, the share the coupon, the address, and their coupon. It's very simple. It's a mobile business card with a coupon on it. Mobile business card with a coupon on it. Texting, email marketing, Facebook marketing, and Twitter marketing. Does everybody understand it? I, I want to ask a question. And I've been, been going to ask this question. I just heard it. Does everybody understand how important the marketing platform is to your business? Does everybody understand that? Hey, BK, how you doing, brother? It is absolutely essential, essential to your business growth. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jock. That, I, I was saying that. Does that come across the screen? It's absolutely essential to your business growth. I mean, it, without question, if you don't have a marketing plan for someone, you have no value. You give them no value. They cannot get a return on their investment, especially in the coupon business. If you have no way of getting the coupons out to the public, how is anyone going to come in and redeem them? The directory is the marketing app for all the coupons, correct? Correct. The directory is the marketing app for your entire customer base in your zip code, in your small town, in your medium town, whatever, however you're building that. Okay? Yeah, and let me tell you something. Scott said it best. You're just building mobile sites without becoming a true consultant and, use, and utilizing the marketing plan. If you're just out there selling apps, you're going to go broke eventually because you're not going to have any residual income and you're not going to have any repeat customers. And nobody's going to continue to pay you if you're not doing anything for them at all. Would you? Would you pay somebody $500 a month to do all your marketing for you to, to, to bring people into your business if, if you was getting nothing in return? If you do, please call me after this show. Please. I will take all your money. Will Sim says he's going to be at Vines. It's a restaurant there in uh, 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 New Mexico in Clovis that he signed up. And he's going to be in the house signing their customers up to their coupon app Friday night. Will? No matter what time it is, when you get done, please call me and I would love to hear the results. The marketing platform is where it all happens. <clears throat> you can go in here and there's many, many training videos. I'm not going to go through this tonight because we just don't have the time. Okay. You can schedule the messages to do whatever you want to do. Yeah, county, city. Yeah, however big you need to make it. I'm doing a county uh, app for my county because it's made up of a bunch of small towns. It's going to be the Hunt County Directory. I mean, everything here is anywhere from six to uh, five thousand, you know, five, six, seven thousand people, with the exception of the county seat, which is about twenty thousand people. This is where everything happens. 
set it and forget it. If they're going to use four coupons a month, trust me, everybody knows what their marketing plan is for the month. Set up their entire marketing plan in one day, collect your four, five, six hundred thousand dollars, whatever you're charging, go set it up and go out and do, go fishing. You're in the tech world. You don't have to spend a thousand hours a day setting this stuff up. You know when that information's coming in, put it in the marketing platform, set up your Twitter accounts. You can buy programs that, that post automatically for you, okay, that do all the posting for you. Hootsuite, post everything for you. It does everything. Spend a few bucks a month, put it all in Hootsuite, and it doesn't connect to our platform, but our platform does the same thing. You schedule everything. Set it for the month and forget it. How many of you would like to work one week a month, make, make ten or $15,000 a month, and, and get your residual income going and go fish in the other three. Absolutely. And you've got to be able to see the big picture here. Okay? You've got to work your butt off for the next 12 months. You've got to work your butt off for the next 12 months. Go out and get you, get you 100 customers that's paying you uh, $1,000 a month. Okay, if a hundred customers is paying you a thousand dollars a month, that's twelve thousand dollars a year. Uh, 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 Kitty doesn't watch twelve thousand times a hundred. And then once you get that done and you get everything automated, one hundred forty-four thousand dollars a year. How many of you like to make one hundred forty-four thousand dollars a year working one week a month? It can be done if you get off your butt and make it happen. You know, you just got to go out there and you got to start your business. Now, I'm not telling anybody they can do that. I'm telling you, you could do that if you'd go to work. How much you make is your business? You know, you want to make a million dollars, go get a thousand customers and do that. How do you sell the coupon program? How do I sell anything? How does Carrie sell? How does Carrie teach people to sell? Show and tell. Show and tell. Show and sell. Roger Panada, how well does show and tell, show and sell work? I think Roger's right, right, getting close to 700 apps now. It's the best. It works. It works. You know? Can you add some other marketing things to that and bring in other business? Absolutely. I'm, I'm testing some right now. I'm testing local Facebook on mobile business cards. I, I'm testing a lot of stuff right now because I don't want to just let my business go stagnant. I want my business to continue to grow. And if I can bring in another 30 apps a month off of Facebook by simply running a $5 app, okay? Yeah, that's right. It works if you work it, okay? How do you sell the program? Show and tell, show and sell. <laughs> Roger says he shows and tells and they give him a check. I promise you, this is proven. It works. Simply go in and start a conversation for the coupon apps. Somebody was asking this while I go in the group. Simply walk in and ask this very simple question. Do you use coupons? Will Sims said it's absolutely that easy. And it is. You know? Christy, do you use coupons for your business? Absolutely we do. Do you have any? No, but I'd sure love to show you how I can make your coupons mobile. I've already got a guaranteed list of 500 people that I will text your coupon out to once a month. I mean, once a week. 500 local people that will get that your coupon on their phone once a week. 
Do you know what that's worth to your client? He's not having 500 people out of the 50 newspapers he's, he's, he's posting in, say his coupon. And when that coupon goes out and it hits that phone and they start building his list and you go in like Will's going to do on Friday night and help Vines build their list, what's going to happen to your income? You can't stop the growth, people. You can't stop it. It's like a train. You know, it's like a train. That's right. Will says, look at the cost of sending out direct mail if you don't think that is a deal. Direct mail, I'm going to tell you right now, I used to do direct mail. One dollar per piece. One dollar per piece. I sent out 10,000 pieces a week. One dollar per piece. Very expensive. It's organic growth, absolutely. Organic growth. You can either make it happen or you don't make it happen. We have added multiple keywords. You can now purchase multiple keywords for your apps. It's two dollars per keyword. Okay? We're selling you the keywords at our cost. That's our cost, our processing costs, and everything included. We're not making anything on keywords. What you need to do is upsell your keywords for four to five dollars a piece. Keywords are extremely that's very, very good price on keywords. Okay. That's very, very good. Now this is the way we're gonna do it. When you order that keyword, let's say that you're you put it on Carrie's Pizza's app, okay? And you ordered a new keyword. What's going to happen is, is that $2 for that keyword will be added on your next billing cycle for that app that you've already got your card on file with. Does everybody understand that? We're going to go ahead and merge that right onto your app, onto your texting. It's cleaner that way. You're not getting a bunch of $2 charges. Okay. We're just going to merge it right onto that app. All right? And we're going to do that inter internally. You don't have to worry about it. All you have to do is go into your app, okay? Go into View Details, and right up here, it says Add Keyword. Yes, U.S. U.S. only. That's correct. All right? And you add your keywords as you can do it as many times as you want. All right. I'm not sure about the MMS with short codes. I'm not sure about that. Let me look at something real quick. Hang on just for a second. I'm going to look at something real, real quick. Now, there is no MMS button with, with, with the new keyword. There is no MMS button with the new keyword. I'll ask Mark about that. I'm not sure if you can or not. I know we don't we don't have that in system right now. Does everybody understand how to add a keyword? Y'all like my new pin? Where can I get my pin? <laughs> oh. Oh, shoot, man. Carry it as toys. Any questions at all? Someone had asked. Now, I've got to let me figure something out here, please. Give me one second. Uh, 
I'm gonna. Somebody asked uh, about looking it up. One of the apps. I'm gonna do that real quick. That was a question. Give me one second, and y'all can ask all the questions you want. Uh, if you would, please. No, I don't give my customers access to anything. I charge them a monthly fee, and I do all of the uh, updates myself. All right, Will, you have a great one, buddy. You're the man. Let me know how your Vines thing works out. Give me one second. I'm going to try to share my screen. I'm gonna try to any any other questions while my screen is uh, while I'm waiting on my screen to open up here. If I can get it to open up. Can you show how to add a keyword real quick? Yeah, just go to view, just go to view details. Hang on just one second. Give me one second. If you would, please. Try to, uh, I don't know what, I don't know how to do it. Okay. Oh, I got that done. I think everybody can see my see my app screen. Uh, on the directory app, you use the call us button, and I understand from a marketing standpoint. But aren't you afraid it would create a ton of user calls that can press a button properly? No, I don't care about that. Hook it up to a text now number. If you want people calling your number, put it on a recording. Why do you want that there? Because you do not want to miss a call of somebody calling you, asking you how to get a coupon. Period. The coupon, like the New Mexico, is a marketing tool of X number to go to the coupon app. But you said something. About other businesses and same ish, like yeah, you're gonna build multiple coupons in the directory, multiple coupons in the directory. There may be five pizza places under pizza. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Uh, let me go in here to the directory. Hey, buddy, you Paris. I'm going to show you that next, buddy.
All it is is a simple form. All you got to do is go ahead and build a form. I just need mine more info. Sorry, this state uses a lot of bad when I'm doing webinars. All it is is a form. It says, for, for information on placing your coupon in this directory, just fill out the form below. Name, phone number, best time to call, and any comments, and hit a submit button. And the email is right to you. Any other questions? At all. Does everybody understand the coupon program? Thank you, Scott. Does everybody understand the coupon program? Now, with that said, let me say this. Do what makes you money. Yes, you sell individual coupon apps to each business. You got your coupon directory. Okay. And you got your app that you sell to your business. The coupon app, it goes to the business. Now, how do we sell that? Okay. For example, this Carrie's Pizza is a coupon app. Okay, how do we sell the coupon app? How much does the app itself cost? Can anybody tell me? Can anybody tell me how much the app itself cost? And Michael Cahill gets the big, big, big. Big, uh, big, big dinner. Then Kenny Dutton came across. Uh, the, 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 the coupon app itself is free. The coupon app itself is free. Okay. The coupon app is free. How much is the? How much is the texting? The texting is 50 bucks to start, right? Because what are we going to do? We're going to give them what? The thousand texting. That's right. So your net on the texting per month is be what? It's going to be 25 bucks, right? Okay. 25 bucks. All right. How much is the coupon for the first coupon? $49. Okay. How much is each additional coupon for the month for the 30 day period? 29 bucks. Okay. It starts over what? On the 30th day, right? And it goes right back to first coupon. It's 49, then $29 for each coupon. So the app is free. What is the value of the app? What is the value of the, what is the value of the app? 349 or 449 or whatever really whatever you want it to be okay yeah my K he'll say dollar 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 it's invaluable okay so put a value on it you're gonna give them that you're gonna give them that platform to help them disseminate their coupon you're charging for the creation of the coupon and the texting where is the big money play with the coupon app? What's the big money play with the coupon app? That will probably make you more money than you've ever made in your life. Texting. 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 You know what the you know what building the coupons does for you? 
Building the coupons. Building the coupons gives you your money to do what? Cover your overhead. Texting is pure profit. Pure profit. It takes you literally five seconds to set it up, if that long. Do not set up this coupon program without texting. Now that's your app. If you need to start off with, uh, with you know, the fifteen dollar package, start off with the fifteen dollar package. You can go out and build a list of one hundred and sixty six people. Okay, or 133, whatever it is, over 100 people for $15. Okay, so if you have built your coupon directory, put your texting on it tonight and go out and start doing it. Go out and start doing it. Any other, <clears throat> any other questions? We're wrapping up coupons next week. All right, then. I want to thank everybody. Has everybody enjoyed? Is the keyword price we charge a client included in the 99? Do they get one keyword? Yes, they get one keyword. Each single keyword, you need to charge them for that. When they sign up for texting, you get one keyword. Absolutely. The directory is a tool to build the list. Absolutely. Absolutely. Tom, did, did everything clear up for you tonight, brother? Good night, Chris. Awesome. Good night, Joseph. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Next week, we're going to go to a little bit of Twitter, and we're going to start, we're going to wrap up. Awesome, BK. Love you, buddy. Good night, Jason. Ferris. Cody, Glenn, y'all have a great evening. Thank you, brother. Love you, man.